Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, and we're sailing off like right at the sunset. That's kind of cool. Nice way to bring back things here. We've been on a long break from Wind Waker. I'm sorry for that. It's been like a oh, month since I recorded this, and at least a month since I posted this, so... Sorry for that delay, just everything's been getting in the way and I've been putting it off for so long, but we're finally back to a thunderstorm in the middle of the night. That's a joyous thing to come back sail into. And, um, I can't exactly remember where I left off. I know I did the flight control platform last, and right now I'm sure you can already tell where I am because I showed you the Tower of the Gods back there a second ago. So we're just heading on west from there. <laughs> oh, looks like we have a treasure chart up here too. I can see the beam of light sticking out there. Might want to check that out. So yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is a reef, though. Which reef? I'm not sure. I think it might be 3 eye. No, it's not 3 eye reef. Uh, maybe 4 eye reef. I'm not sure. I know it's not Cyclops Reef, because Cyclops Reef is like one reef to the west of this. I always thought that was weird that there were two reefs, like, right next to each other in the middle of the map. Dude, ah, oh, Way to waste some bait. I hate it when I do that. Okay, can you... Why can't I... Thank you. Dude! The fish is right... <laughs> now I'm just okay. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The, uh, that fish is messing with my camera. Okay. You get your ass over here and give me my chart. Not you. You. Thank you. Holy crap. <laughs> Does that have to be so hard? Jeez, Louise. I've never had so much trouble luring in a merman. I mean, maybe in real life. Sure. Like I suck at fishing in real life. I've had very few experience with the fishing, actually, but every time I have, I've caught something. Six eye reef, I was way off. Yeah, that's something, too, is that the two reefs that are next to each other are one and six. The two extremes. Oh, yeah, dude, I already did all that crap, that magic armor side quest that everyone seems to hate except for me. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Well, that's... them. <laughs> Did we already do that? I can't even remember. Oh my gosh. It's been so long. Red-handed. Yeah, but too bad you can't do that, because you're a fish. You can't get out of the water. Because who knows what a fish out of water would be like, especially that fish. Okay, uh, there's a platform over there. That's gen that's genuinely most of the things that are interesting about the Cyclops. I mean, about the reef islands is like the platforms and the other stuff that surrounds them. Not the actual reefs themselves. Sometimes, though, you get, like, really sort of neat charts from them. But most of the time, it's really just sort of rocky and gross. I don't exactly remember what's at this platform. I know there's a really, uh, there, there should be a submarine in this square, if I remember right, and it has a really good reward. So we'll be looking forward to that. For now, though, let's see who's lurking up here, taking your Zs in the middle of this. Man, how can you fire? How are you firing your cannons at me when you're freaking sleeping up here? With your dumbass telescopes. All right. Oh man, I got you there. Oh, see ya. <laughs> wow, that was brutal. Merciless link. Okay. Uh, I think I still need to go see some fairies too to get all my capacity upgrades. I'm pretty sure I've only gotten like one of those at this point. See, this is the problem when you don't record for so long is that you can't remember what you have and haven't done unless you go back and watch a bunch of videos. Which I could do, I suppose. Like, I just don't like listening to my voice. That's the main thing I have, to have with going back and doing that. Because it, I just... Does anyone really like listening to their own voice? Unless you have, like, an awesome voice, like Morgan Freeman or something. I highly doubt it. Or you're, like, the biggest narcissist ever. But see, like, when you're speaking, like... Like, I don't listen to my own... Like, like listening to my own recorded voice, but like listening to myself talk right now, I don't have any problems with it because I'm just so used to that. It's just something about recording morphs it in some way. I really don't know. Alright, let's see if we can spot that submarine on the horizon somewhere here. Uh, over there, maybe? Or is that Beetle Shop ship? I can't quite tell from this distance. No, that's a submarine. Okay, perfect. <laughs> For a minute, I thought I was just sailing sort of blindly off into the distance here, but. There's actually rhyme and reason to this. Alright. Is this the one I think it is? Because it's kind of cool, this one. If it is. With all the moblins and the torches and whatnot. Uh, no. There is a moblin. I mean, I was right about that. 
Hopefully I haven't already done this submarine or something stupid like that, because this does strike me as vaguely memorable. But that might just be because I've seen it so many times. That because it's so funny. Like, just just fucking, just they just walk walk out one at a time, all slow and stupid. Like, look at this. This is so dumb. <laughs> just moblins in general, are the dopiest things. They gotta have all these different camera angles just to make it interesting as they walk out. Mm -hmm. And the saints come marching in, or the freaking the moblins come marching to their doom. Oh, hello! Wow, I forgot about you. Uh, I don't think you have to, yeah, you don't have to kill all the enemies. I, uh, well, that was fair. Jeez. Okay. Um. What do I need? Yes. Boomerang. Boomer Kawanger. There we go. Anything? Sweet. I'm pretty sure I haven't already gotten this one, but we'll see if this chest is open or not. It doesn't look like it. Well, alrighty then. That's just hunky dory by me. Because, man, I wonder how many harpies I actually have right now. Because I might be able to get another heart container here if I'm lucky. Uh. Oh, it's the first one. Oh, you can't be any further away from that. Or than that. You know, I should have gone to Dragon Roost Island to get that heart container before I came here. Because I was, like, right there at Dragon Roost Island when I turned on the GameCube. But, I don't know. I guess I'm just putting that off, because like, I'm trying to think of a good way that'll be funny to get it or something. Like I'm going to come up with any creative ideas at any point. Pro I'll probably just end up breaking at some point and being like, Oh, here, I'll get it in this video. Yay, I did it. Just, uh, uh. You don't see these guys a whole lot, these like sea octorocks. They're really cool looking too, though. I don't know, it's just something about them. They're really menacing to me. Probably the spiky heads has something to do with it. But I don't know. They never really... I don't think I've ever... Like, ever, ever hit me. Not even once, but... They're really cool. And as far as the Nintendo Gallery goes, they don't count as a different enemy than the, like, River Octoroks, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're just both classified under Octoroks. So don't worry too much about that. For that matter, while I'm at here with the Reefs, these cannon ships don't count for anything in the Nintendo Gallery because they're not actual living things, I guess. I mean, there's got to be living things commanding them. That much is obvious, or should be obvious. Of course, this is a Zelda game, so does logic always apply? <laughs> does logic ever apply? Oh, that's a question. Okay, well, this is going to be fun. Oh, jeez. Why did I have my grappling hook out? I need the cannon, man. This, oh, yeah. See, this is the... It's, there's six of these freaking little pegs here. There's just bombs flying every which way. You're not going to be able to help getting hit at, at least one point here. I mean, maybe if you're really good and you're really lucky, or both. <laughs> there you go. The cannon ships are probably the best ones to take out first because they can actually like be mobile and chase you around. Of course, they suck at chasing, but and these cannons aren't so bad. Mm. Yeah, I didn't hit you. I'm not in a good enough. I don't have a good enough a angle on that. Mm oh. Only now he's yeah. See the problem with these is that you have to get an, to get an angle to shoot them. You have to let them get an angle to shoot you. And then it's just a matter of who's the most accurate from a distance. All right, this should be good. Oh well, he's gonna hit me. Yeah. Oh, I'll call that one. Three miles away. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes it's funny you can like get like right up too close to the wall and then you shoot them at high tide and you actually end up hitting yourself. It's like, what stupid, who's the stupid cannoneer that's going to hit himself with a cannon? You see that all the times in games that have cannons, funnily enough, but you'd never see that in real life. And if you did, it would be like the most tragic thing ever, because it's like, it's a cannon. <laughs> it's not these playful, fun things that you get in video games, that they're actually lethal killing machines. Scary stuff, man. And you will know once you've gotten all these cannons killed, because something should appear... It always does, but... Oh, here's one, okay. Hiding in the back corner, what are you thinking? Oh, come on. There we go. Is that it? Perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but... Pretty much every time you, uh, get... Ev everything you'll... Ev okay, basically, here's the long short of it. I'm gonna try and stop stuttering like a jackass. At every reef, you'll get a chest to appear like that. And pretty much, if my memory serves me, every reef will 
have a special chart instead of like a treasure chart. Like they'll have a certain sort of red chart, like the platform chart, except the platform chart's not actually at a reef, so that's a kind of terrible example. But like the the moon ring chart, I think is one of them that you'll get. And it might actually be this one. I'm not sure. Or wait, no wait. I think I'm getting that messed up. I think it's actually no. Don't cast that. Oh my god. I think it's actually will get a treasure chart from the reefs. So I just contradict everything I said. I know, but. Those treasure charts will always lead to a treasure that is that special chart, or one of those special charts that I'm talking about. And it seems that a lot of the tre those treasures are actually at the reefs that, like, their treasure charts come from. It's a really weird system. I'm still not entirely sure how treasure charts work, to be honest with you. Sometimes I just feel like it's randomized, but then you, like, look at guides online and stuff, and it's like, it, already, it tells you what you're going to get. So, how can it be randomized? Maybe certain ones are randomized and others aren't? Because I swear it's been different sometimes. It's just impossible to know. Oh well, let's see what that one is. Um, here we go, 26. That is one of the Triangle Islands. Northern Triangle Island, if memory serves. I mean, it's pointed north, so you might think. Okay. And before we get out of here, there is a treasure somewhere around here buried, so I'm going to go ahead and find that once. Did I never open this? The platform chart? Oh, there you go! I guess if I never showed that, there it is. There's all the platforms. There's a ton of them, yeah. And not many of them yield anything of vast importance. Oh, here we go. Oh, it is, like, right next to me. Alright, just right over here. Let's see if we can get it. Should be, like, right between these two pegs. Let's see. Maybe it's not the actual like treasure charts themselves that are randomized, but maybe it's their position in relation to the island. Because I just got a fear that like every playthrough that they're gonna randomize that because they don't want you just like being able to dig them up without the treasure charts, if that's even possible. I don't know what it, if it is. Well, there you go, whopping 200 rupees. Jump for joy.